Musharraf Saeed is a Pakistani analyst and he joins us now from Islamabad. Good to speak to you, Musharraf. So who is exactly the Balochistan Liberation Army and how much power and ground do they have? Well, this is a terrorist group that's been operating um, in, in the largest province in the country for several years. Uh, there's, uh, at least within Pakistan, there's a widespread belief that uh, these kinds of terror groups, especially the ones that operate in, in, the, in the Balochistan province, they, <coughs> they, enjoy the, uh, they enjoy the support of uh, hostile foreign uh, elements. Uh, the fact that the Chinese consulate was targeted uh, lends further confidence to, to those theories. Uh, as, as you would know, and as viewers would know, the Pakistan-China relationship is not, uh, is not welcomed by every country. Uh, and particularly, uh, it, uh, it represents a, a big challenge to India's efforts to establish uh, hegemony in the region. So uh, there's, a, there's a lot of anger about this attack today. And as you know, there was also an attack in Aurukzai, in the northern part of the country, a suicide attack, which, uh, which, which was not claimed by the same group. But, uh, but these attacks are reminders of uh, what many Pakistanis have uh, felt is a time that was behind us. So what impact will these attacks have on Pakistan's relations with China? Well, I don't. I, I mean, I think if anything, these kinds of attacks will uh, will further strengthen the conviction of both the Chinese authorities and uh, of of the Pakistanis to continue to cooperate. Um, uh, if the effort here was uh, meant to scare the Chinese, the Chinese aren't going to be scared out of Pakistan. If it was meant to scare the Pakistanis, Pakistan has fought and won a war against terror. Uh, that has now, uh, you know, uh, been been going on for for a long time. Uh, I think Pakistan is capable of uh, fighting for much longer, uh, and and I think in order to secure Pakistani interests, I don't think there's any duration or any kind of uh, length or uh, or breadth that the country wouldn't go to. So uh, any effort to to try and dictate terms to Pakistan will fail, like they always have. So has this terrorist group carried out a similar attack before? This terrorist group has carried out before the uh, adoption of the Fedayeen slash uh, suicide attack uh, uh, methodology, which is what seemed to be uh, the preferred mode here today in this attack. That certainly represents an escalation of its, uh, of its methods. But the BLA has, uh, has constantly attacked innocent civilians, um, civilians from, uh, from other ethnic groups and government installations, including uh, gas supply lines and electricity uh, supply stations, anything that uh, causes any kind of a disruption. This was a much more spectacular attack from that perspective. Well, we have to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for that insight and for joining us here on TNT World. Musharraf Saidi.